patience and guidance <coughs> and thanking him for all his blessings. We start the last section of the book, and Mujazupi Usul al Fiqh. This is the eighth section, and this is about the conflict between religious references. Al Maqsad al Thamin fi Ta'arud al Adillat al Sharia. When there is a conflict, for example, between two hadith. The question is. What should we do when two hadiths, for example, or two dalil in general conflict, and each of them, if it was alone, was strong? Because if, for example, one of them is weak hadith, another is reliable hadith, there is no conflict. Two should be by itself, each of them by itself is okay. We have to discuss few issues here. Al Faslu al Awwal, fi Ta'arud Ghayr al Mustaqir. Conflict which is not stable means it's a kind of pseudo conflict, but there is a solution for it. Yeah, it's not uh, something which cannot be terminated. Okay, so it's a kind of conflict that can be sorted out, can be fixed, it's fixable. And that is, as we will explain, when there is a common sense solution, jam or fi. For example, am and khas, akram jami al ulama, and then another hadith says, la tukram al fusaqa min al ulama. There may seem to be a conflict, but this conflict is not a real conflict. After a little reflection, every person understands what does it mean. It means Akram al-Ulama illa al fusaq Yeah? So, this is called At-Ta'arudu Ghayru al-Mustaqir. means it's not settling. It's not something which remains. can be sorted out. Al-Faslu thani fi ta'arud al-Mustaqir. Is when there is conflict and this conflict remains. What should we do? So it's real conflict. And you have to find a solution not to remove conflict. The conflict is there. A solution after conflict. What should we do with this conflict? Yeah. Sometimes you find a way to say there is no conflict sometimes you know there is conflict but now i have to find a preference for one side and if there is no preference they are equal then what should we do we will discuss and there is a conclusion at the end of our uh, you know walk what should we do when two sorts of dalil overlap al umum al khusus min wajh you know like two circles that part of them is common for example akram al ulama la tukram al fusaq this is different from la tukram al fusaq min al ulama if it is la tukram al fusaq min al ulama is umum khusus mutlaq but if it's Akram al Ulama, La Tukram al Fusaq, and then when there is Alim al Fasir, these two overlap. It's conflict here. Inshallah, we'll talk about all these things. So, let's go to the first page of the last section to clarify more what do we mean by Ta'arud. في تعارض الأدلة الشرعية يعد البحث عن تعارض الأدلة الشرعية وكيفية علاجها من أهم المسائل الأصولية. The study of تعارض and how to fix it, how to treat it, علاج means to treat to so 
is one of the most important discussions in usul. Why? As qallama yattafiq fi babin. It's very rare to have in any chapter, any you know, discussion in fiqh, Allah tujat fihi hujjatan muta'aradatan. You can rarely find any chapter, any you know, group of masail in which there is no conflicting proofs. In the way that Mustanbit, Mujtahid, Mustanbit is the one who does Istanbat and Ijtahad, he wants to draw out the ruling, has no way other than fixing this. So always in fiqh you face such issues, that there are conflicting evidence. Not in every mas'ale, but in every, as I said, in every chapter, in every few mas'ale. وَلَأَجْلَ تِلْكَ الْأَهَمِّيَّ أَفْرَدُوا لَهُ مَقْصَدًا Because of its importance, they have allocated one section to this issue. Yeah, one section. Any book of usul, normally you have it about ta'adul taraji. <coughs> what does ta'aruz literally mean? Ta'arud is bab tafa'ul min al-arv. Arv means to submit. Arv al-a'mal. Yeah, for example, our a'mal are presented to the hujjah of Allah. Arv means to present. Inna ta'arud min al-arv wa huwa fi al-lugha bima'na al-ira'a. To submit. Ma'arad in Arabic exhibition is called Ma'arad al-Kitab. Book fair, you know? Makan al-Arv. قال الله سبحانه أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها. الله سبحانه وتعالى taught Adam all the names. It means all the facts. ثم عرضهم على الملائكة. Then Allah presented them to the angels. فقال أن بئوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين. Inform me. About the names of these facts, if you are correct, if you are right, okay. So, Arathahum al Malaika. The way I understand this is that Allah taught. Adam, the names of all the facts, because when you don't know something's name, it means that you don't know it. If I tell you what is this, if you know it, you would say what's his name. Okay? It's not a matter of language, I'm talking about any language. So, what is this? If you say book, it means you know it. Okay? And then for everything inside also there is a name. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam all the names, means all the facts with their names. And then asked angels the, about the facts without telling them the names. And said, you give me the names. Okay? So, for example, taught Adam that this is book. Then showed the angels this. What is this? They didn't know. I'm giving as an example. Because the uh, tafsir of this ayah sometimes is not very clear, but this is the best way I understood it. That then Allah said, okay, tell me the name of these things. It means show that you know what are these things. So, aradahum means presented. Amastelahan, but the technical meaning, because this was the literal meaning. Ta'aros means two things that present themselves in the face of each other. <laughs> if you want to, uh, you know, 
translated literally means two things stand in the face of each other, ta'arud. But technically, faqad urrafa, it has been defined bitanafi madlulayad dalilayn ala wajahat tanahud. The meaning of two dalil, two references, conflict in the sense of contradiction. This say, I am true, you are wrong. That says, I am true, you are wrong. <laughs> yeah? Or, inshallah, after one line comes, Sometimes there is no contradiction, but it is opposition. So the conflict, either it's tanaqud or tawad. Tanaqud, contradiction, a matter of yes and no. For example, كَمَا إِذَا وَرَدَ يَحْرُمُ الْعَصِيرُ الْعِنَبِي قَبْلَ التَّثْلِيسِ وَوَرَدَ إِذَنْ لَا يَحْرُمُ Suppose if you have two texts. One says grape juice, if it is boiled, before two-thirds of it evaporates, it's haram. Another says it's not haram. This is contradiction. One says it's haram, one says it's not haram. You know the issue of boiling grape juice? So it should reach the point that two-thirds evaporates so that it becomes uh, tired. So, or tazad. Tazad is not contradiction. It's opposition. It's not a matter of yes and no. It's two things that conflict. For example, one says it is wajib, another says it is mustaha, for example. This is tazad. Or one says mustaha, one says haram. Because ahkam khamse they have tazad between themselves. Yeah, all the ahkam khamsa, because these are amran wujudiyah. It's not yes and no. It's two exist existential things that oppose each other. Okay? If one say it's haram, for example. Pardon? If one alim say it's haram, and another say... Not alim, we are not talking about ulama, we are talking about dalil. Okay, dalil. Yeah. If one dalil say it's the salat of duha, haram. And the another day say halal. Is it the, the, now? It's this is tanarud. This is tanarud. No taarud. Yeah, it's taarud. But taarud in the form of taarud has two types. No. Sometimes taarud is in the form of tanarud means contradiction, yes and no. Sometimes taarud in the form of tawad is not yes and no. Two things that cannot be together, but two of them are existential. Like late and Yes, Layla Nar, or like Wujub and Istihbab, Istihbab and Hurma, Wujub and Hurma, these are existential, not Hurma and Halliya. Hurma and Halliya are contradiction. But Tawad means, like for example, in Mantir, between black and white, there is Ta'aruf. But if you say black and non black, this is Tanaquf. Black and white is Tawad. Black and non-black is tanahuf. Okay. Oh, ala wajh tawad. Please put all the sentences together. So it means orfa bitanafi madlula yadalilain. Ala wajh tanahuf. Oh, ala wajh tawad. Okay. The examples you can put it in brackets. So, ala wajh tanahuf or ala wajh tawad. For example, tustahab bu salat al-duha is mustahab to do salat after sunrise. And another may say it's haram. Okay? Summiya hadhan it's not salat al-faj. You know, salat al-mustahab, you know, after sunrise. You want to do two rakah, for example, salat mustahab. 
سمی هازان دلیلان متعارضن Why these two دلیل which are متناقض or متضاد are called متعارض لأن كلن يعرض نفسه على الآخر Each of them is presenting itself to the other or as I said stands in the face of the other ثم إن التعارض Okay Now you understood ta'aruz. Now ta'aruz can be something that will be quickly solved. You don't need to solve it. It by itself is treated, solved. Or you need to find a solution. In ta'aruz bayna dalilain taratan yakunu Amran za'ilan bit-ta'ammul Something that would be removed with reflection A little bit of ta'ammul You ponder, you reflect You find how to put them together Wal-lazimu fih Huwa al-jam'u bayna al-dalilain You find a way to keep both Dalil together there is jam. Why we say jam? To, because you don't need to give up one of them. You keep both text and find a way that both of them together can make one complete sense. Is it clear? Yes. But sometimes ta'aruz is re, you know, remaining. It remains and doesn't go away. If Ta'aruz remains is mustaqir, first you try <coughs> to find tarji preference. To find a way to give preference to one side. If you cannot find any valid preference, you know, Preference should be valid. You cannot say, for example, I do, uh, you know, I throw a coin and, you know, <laughs> what, what they say in English? Toss the coin. Toss the coin? Toss the coin? Yeah. We say shiryakha. Heads or tails. Heads or tails. Yes. So, this is not the way to solve the problem. So, there must be religious preference, something that sh Shara'an is valid to give preference. فَالْمَرْجِعُ فِيهِ هُوَ تَرْجِيهِ أَوَّلًا ثُمَّ تَخِيرْ ثَانِيًا Either tarjih, if there is a preference, a legitimate preference. If not, choice. فَذَالِكَ سَارَ ذَالِكَ سَبَمًا لِأَقْدِ فَسْلَيْنِ Therefore, this has become the reason why we should have two chapters. In this section, we have two chapters. One for ta'aruz غير المستقر. One is for ta'aruz مستقر. الفصل الأول. I just read half a page if you are okay. I hope you are not tired. Just half a page to set up for the next session. الفصل الأول في الجمع بين الدليلين. How we can put together two conflicting reference. In other words, التعارض غير المستقر. تعارض which is not remaining. Yeah, it is not uh, difficult to solve the problem. إذا كان التعارض بين الخبرين تعارضا غير مستقر. Yazulu bitta'amul. If it is غير المستقر, it means that with thinking it will be removed. بحيث لا يعد التكلم بهذا النحو على خلاف الأساليب المعروفة بين المقننين وعلماء الحقوق. It would not be considered as something which is not common, something which is odd. Among lawmakers and legislators. Yeah? If it is ta'aruz mustaqir, it's a negative point. 
you have to find a way to solve it because no one should say something and contradict himself. Okay? So if you find hadith which is contradictory, then it shows that maybe uh, one of them was not said by Ma'asum, <laughs> although the chain looks okay, or maybe it was taqiyya, you know, so you have to find. But ta'aruz ghayr al-mustaqir is something which has no problem. Common sense people, rational people, uh, all can do aam and khas, mutlaq and muqayyya, warud, hukuma, all these things that inshallah will explain. These are things which are common, no problem. لا يعد التكلم بهذا النحو على خلاف الأساليب المعروفة بين المقننين وعلماء الحقوق. Talking in this way is not considered against the familiar methods or common methods. معروفة means known. مقننين lawmakers وعلماء الحقوق means scholars of law. Lawyers and you know experts on law. Balkan Daraj and Bainam, it is common among them. Shaye, Daraj, Daraj means Shaye, means common. Fa Yukadamufi Al Jamro Ala Tahir Abit Tarji Abit Tasahu. To bring them together and find a common meaning would be given preference compared to saying that we do choice or preference or we drop both of them. Takhir means choice. Tarji means preference. Tasaqot means both of them drop. Hada huwa al-murad min qawl al-usuliyin. This is what usuliyun mean. You know, there's a famous sentence that we keep hearing and using in fiqh and usul. We say al jam'u mahma amkan awla min at tarh Mahma amkan means as much as possible. al jam means to put them together. is better than dropping both of them. So when you hear two things, as much as possible, you have to keep both of them and find a common meaning. Yes? This is much better than dropping both of them. But what is important, this jam should be something that everyone would understand in this way. Jam or fi means common sense. You can, because you can always do jam by bringing something from your pocket. We call it jam a Means you yourself, you know, volunteer, you know. This is not, for example, one hadith says something is haram, another says mubah. Then you say in weekdays is haram, in weekend is mubah. Okay, the, solu the solution. <laughs> but this is from your pocket. You solve the problem, but there is no evidence for this. Or you say in the time of Gaiba is, you know, for example, Mubah in the time of Huzur. This kind of jam can solve the conflict, but it is not acceptable. Because this is tabarru'i. means you have created something based on your imagination. It should be jam'a or fi. Means any person with common sense would come to this conclusion. Or you should have an evidence for your jam. For example, bring another hadith, another text, which supports your way of putting them together. Is it clear? Maqsooduhum huwa al-jam'u al-matloob inda ahl al-huquq wal qanun the same way of putting together that experts in law and legislation accept. بحيث يعد أحد دليلين قرينة على التصرف في الآخر. One of them is used as an evidence to change the meaning of the other. هذا ما يعبر عنه بالجمع الأرفي. Common sense way of putting them together. Or al-jam ma'ash-shahid means there is an evidence for it. Opposite to what? Al-jam or tabarru'i. Tabarru' means to volunteer. Which means yajma'u bayna al-dalilayn or yajma'u bayna al-dalilayn bila shahidin wa qarina. 
you find a way to keep both of them intact, but this is the way which has no support. لأجل ذلك يكون الجمع الأول الجمع عرفي مع الشاهد مقبولا والآخر يعني الجمع تبرعي مرفوضا is rejected قد بذل الأصوليون جهودهم في إعطاء الضوابط الجمع المقبول Usuliyun have done their best, they tried their best to give us some rules for jam or fee, jam which is with evidence, which is supported. They have found five types of jam or fee. The last one, of course, is more general. At الورود الحكومة التخصيص تقديم الأظهر على الظاهر Of course this اطلاق and تغييد also is there but you can put it under أظهر على الظاهر تخصص ورود حكومة تخصيص تقديم الأظهر على الظاهر Inshallah, we will explain these things, inshallah, in the next session, but just to give you an idea. Taxis means something is general and you exclude something out of it. <coughs> like, akram al-ulama wa la tukram al-fussaqa minhum. This is taxis. You exclude. Tachassus, Akram al-Ulama, and there is a person who is not alim. You don't need Tachsis. This is out by Tachassus. means it's not included. So if he said Akram al-Ulama, and then he said this person who is Jahil, you don't need to respect him. This is called Tachassus. You understand the difference between Tachsis and Tachassus? Tachsis was included, you have to exclude. Tachassus means by itself is out. Tachsis is for homogenes, and Tachassus is for separate genes like uh, Alim and Jahu. Yeah, so Tachsis is included, mm -hmm. but you bring it out. Oh, yes. Then we have Hukuma and Wurud. Yeah, these two are very uh, complicated and these are introduced by Shaykh Ansari Rahmatullah for example Shara says uh, for Salat you should have Tahara you should have Wuzu then Shara says at Tawafu Salatun Tawaf is also like Salat but this is the saying of Shara makes it part of it Okay, so uh, we will explain it. Uh, just it's something which is more difficult and needs some exercise from Shara. <coughs> and in general, anything which is more clear, stronger in Mzahir than the other, like Mutlaq and Muqayyad, Am and Khas, all these things finally go back to this rule, according to some. So, just Prepare yourself if you can study in advance so that we will explain the difference between these, especially for Wurud and Hukuma. What is the difference between these two and between them and Taxis? And then after that, inshallah, then we go for Ta'aruz al Mustaqir. What is Ta'aruz which is not easily solved and needs treatment? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam. Oh, so I'm sorry. Yes.